guys and welcome back to another video so um as you can see i'm gonna be working in ibis paint today i haven't done like an ibis paint video where it wasn't like an asmr so i thought it'd be an okay idea to do one at least non-asmr for the people who don't like to really listen to asmr but are more interested in ibis paint so as you can see i already watched the ad i'm gonna hit okay and then I'm just going to use the colored pencil. This is like the only brush I really use when I'm using Ibis paint. It just works and it's versatile enough for me to work with. Just because like I don't really like doing finished work in Ibis paint. Just because there is a bit of a lag that I find. So yeah. So I think what we're going to do for the sake of my wrist. Um, I'm going to be just sketching out Albedo today. I'm not sure how I'm going to sketch him out or how I want to do this. I might do it in like my sketch page style where I work in one area and move around the canvas and fill it up. And maybe we'll do a little bit of coloring, a little bit of rendering. But for the most part, I think we're just going to make this like a chill session just because um, I don't want to overdo it with my wrist. So yeah. So as you can see, my stabilizer is off, but there is still like a little bit of that lag, which I'm not used to, which is why I kind of just prefer sketching in, in Ibis paint. So I just drew like a circle and I don't really have plans on how I want to do this. I decided to take off the little radish case off of my pencil just for probably the next few days um because when i was wearing my brace to go to sleep yesterday um i guess like it helped my wrist a lot you can still see the imprints of where because i sleep on my arm sometimes um but because of that the brace was digging into like this little area this little fleshy area and it kind of caused it to have like a little mini blister so i don't want to have my pencil to be super bulky or It'll kind of like rub and rest against this part. So even though today's technically D. Luke's birthday, or is it technically yesterday? I'll have to search it up. I don't, I don't feel like drawing D. Luke. So I'll just draw a beta today, and we'll see how this goes. Is there a way to lock this layer only? I don't really remember using. Here it is. Okay, alpha lock. I know some people aren't like are not into 17. So maybe I'll leave a song recommendation in the description that isn't 17 or even like K-pop related. I've been listening to Postman again. I don't know if it's because like it feels like spring now. And they have some really nice like soothing songs that are like really fits the spring mood in my opinion so in terms of like what size the canvas is i'm just using the default size i think it's like the a4 whatever they have set for like the a4 size so maybe we'll make it look like he's sketching i know there was like a comment on a different video i don't really remember what the other video was but someone thought it was um, it'd be funny if I drew Albedo while he looks like he's drawing me. How do I... I make it look like more like a clipboard. So the thing I like about sketching the most though is because you can just add shadows and tones and build up value. And we don't really have to rely specifically on like color. Even though like we'll see if we can color some of these. I haven't drawn Albedo in a while. I know like some people are like, like, why haven't you drawn Albedo or Sucris? Like I've drawn Sucris several times in my sketchbook and same with Albedo. I just haven't done like any finished drawings of them. I guess I'm more like in more of a Albedo drawing mood now. I think slightly because like I've been using him a little bit more often in my team. And he helped me clear um, the abyss. I think that's probably the reason why my hand feels crappy. My many failed attempts at doing 12-3. <laughs> so make sure to give your hand a break if it needs it because damaging your hand, especially if you love drawing or if you're an artist, is very detrimental. I 
I dream a little bigger than anticipated. So let's shrink them. So we have room for a little bit of other doodles. So I think if you watched my video with, I think it was Child, the one I was drawing Child or Tartalia. Um, that's kind of the format that I'm going for. So usually I do one larger sketch and then I do two more sketches that are a little bit more rough, I guess. So another, like, I was going to do an ASMR video for this, like I mentioned, but the reason why is because one, ASMR sessions tend to go super long and my hand is probably not up for it, especially the editing process as well. And then second, I didn't get enough sleep last time, so I decided to sleep early and just get a lot of rest so I could just do a quick session today, get this up, and then I can focus on making a little bit of the more proper videos that I usually do. I guess I'm not even proper videos, just I guess like people like seeing finished work, I guess. It's like the new event. The, what is it called? The amplifier event thing? It's kind of a pain. I can't get higher than 6,000 points. It's like a little loop here. So because I haven't drawn Albedo in quite a while, I don't have his design like commit to my memory. Hopefully, hopefully. The next sketchbook drawing session, I'll be, it'll be another Genshin character. <laughs> so I saw a color palette that I really like using again, because I was looking at, like through my Pinterest board. And I haven't used this color palette, I feel like, in a while, so I want to return back to using it. I'm just wearing gloves. Now, I usually like having several references out um, so I can see their full design. But, uh, it might be easier if I actually just pull up the game and zoom in so I can see his glove. Hopefully you guys can see that. Say goodbye to an okay looking hand. I'm trying to fix the hands so that they look like they're actually either gripping onto the clipboard or at least resting on it. I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm not supposed to be making this look that accurate. I'm just gonna get off of Genshin because I did take a screenshot of his clipboard so we can use that for later. I would love to do more of a darker background, more glowious, glowious, glowing kind of like picture drawing of Albedo because his eye color is so pretty. It's like a beautiful like teal color and I love his eye color so much. So hmm. I don't really have a pose in mind. Hmm. He could be holding that layer like that twig branch ley line. Leyline branch. I keep looking at my own drawing for reference, even though I have a reference right here for his hair. Hopefully you guys have been doing okay. Hopefully you guys are also taking care of your your wrist if you're drawing a lot like I am. So maybe I won't put his hand here. I do want to paint though. Not like specifically digital painting, but
So I always think Albedo has really pretty hair. So maybe, maybe I'll do a traditional painting of Albedo as well. Sometime in the future, maybe a more finished like watercolor piece. This little ponytail. a good idea to maybe darken up some of these areas so make it a little bit easier for me to at least put in a little bit of color. Have you guys challenged the spiral abyss? How far are you? I know like with the new spiral abyss now it must be <laughs> difficult especially with the that stupid what is it called? Lean line disorder? I think it's the water this time. That really hinders your cooldown, which really sucks. Just like every Genshin character, it seems like everyone has so much detail. I think sketching becomes easier, especially if you're more familiar with the character. Band that comes this way. Cause even when I was drawing Tartalia or Child, I didn't draw him super accurately. <laughs> I skimmed out on a lot of his details because he has a lot of like accessories and layering of clothing. But hopefully you guys understand why I use Procreate a little bit more than Ivis Paint, but because I'm doing more like painterly and more like quick brush strokes and stuff or like sketching, it just doesn't feel natural to me. It feels very stiff. So I try my best to only use um, I just paint, if I'm just like, I want to fool around a little bit or just to sketch for fun. Because this like has a lot less pressure for me just because I am working mostly with just one brush. If not entirely only with the one brush. I'm trying to have a little bit more consistency here. Bring up his collar a little bit. Okay, I don't know where I left off. I had to go eat lunch and I feel sleepy now. So let's try to fit in one more sketch. I might have to put a little bit more detail into here. I don't know how if I really feel like it. So we'll see. I'm just thinking what else can we put here? Should we just put like a, like maybe a chibi of albedo? Use the derp style and quickly <laughs> make a chibi of him. I haven't done like a chibi drawing video in like a really long time, I feel like. Like other than that one of Chongyun. But there's so many things I want to draw. There's something like Masaki related I want to draw. Maybe I'll do that for the next video or something. I feel like even sometimes doing this makes it already look or like already look like albedo. <laughs> I wanna do more cheebs like of Genshin. Maybe I'll make more gifts of them. Very small hand. Like super derpy. <laughs> okay, so let's change the background color. So add a new layer. Let's fill this, so I'm going to take the bucket tool, let's fill it to be... I never like having the background pure white, so it's nice to change this. So let's do current layer, kind of this brownish gray color, so we could have something a little bit more neutral, so we can put colors upon it and make them a little bit more poppy, I guess? Duplicate layer, turn this one off, turn this one to multiply, and then go to... Where is hue and saturation? Hmm, interesting. Okay, hopefully that works. 
gonna make a new layer, put this underneath, and we can start to block in a little bit of the color. I don't know if you guys can probably see the difference. Yeah, so I think the next video I'm gonna do will be something related to Masaki, because I I saw a few pictures of something I really like and I kind of want to do something with Masaki. Just gonna do the simple shading. What? Hmm. Let me clean it up a little bit and render probably just the faces. Grab a darker pink, kind of make it a little bit more dustier so we can deepen up some of these shadows before going in with like a much darker color. So I think I mentioned this in previous videos. I don't really like to blend as much. I rely mostly on opacity just because it kind of comes from my love from using dry mediums and graphite where you're just building up tone. I just use a brush that looks fairly soft if you use less pressure and kind of gets more intense the more you build up or the more pressure you use. See, I don't know what's more annoying. I like eye dropping the colors back and forth or having the quick eyedropper on and not being able to like scrub back and forth. I'm just gonna add a little bit more pink to his cheeks. His eye color, which I seriously find one of the prettiest eye colors, is a really beautiful like um, minty teal color and then it's more of a turquoise at the top. So I tried to cut like I tried to keep the eyes fairly bright this time, except for on the other one. Like the first one I did. Because I did shade it in a little bit more. But hopefully this will help make the eyes pop a little bit. And then we're gonna pick up this white color again. Got a little pink in there. Kind of make it the highlights and then just fix this one. I'm gonna add a little bit to kind of like the edge. And for my derp style, I usually just do this. Because I tend to make the upper half of the eye a lot darker. And then he is blonde. A really nice like dusty pale blonde color. I'm gonna add a little bit more like golden yellow-ish to his hair just to bring out a little bit of color because this is a fairly muted. Yeah maybe I'll draw a beetle more. I just really like his hair. I think it's like easy to stylize. So as long as I learn his outfit, I think he might be one of those characters I draw more often. So I'm using this as a way to add a little bit of color into his hair because it's super dull, but also using it a little bit as the shadow color. Yeah, I should probably turn quick eyedropper back on. Oh, I didn't really tell you guys what I was talking about in terms of how I want to draw Masaki. So Masaki obviously is more into like plants and foliage and all that, right? Or at least that's how I like to draw him. And Japan's Pokemon Center just came out with like a new, I think like set of plushes and like items. And it's very much like floristy and like just plant themed. And there's some really cute ones of like little Pokemon plushes and these little plush um, planters, like pots and stuff, and it looks super cute. I'll see if I still have the drawing, but I drew Masaki as kind of like a Pokemon breeder before, because I feel like that's what he would be. 
Like he would help run the daycare and stuff. So I kind of want to draw him with like baby grass Pokemon. <laughs> now, compared to the reference, I didn't make him as pale. He looks a little bit more peachy. Um, so that might be the reason why his hair color doesn't look exactly correct. Because Albedo is fairly pale, actually. <laughs> For a person who likes to do more of like, looks like plain air sketching. Which will make sense on this one. Since I did draw it incorrectly on my first attempt. I might add a little bit of like, maybe the teal into his hair. Or maybe a little bit of blue. Because I do like to kind of mix some of the colors together. I'll bring the palette out a little bit more. His hood is actually black. So that's where I messed up on my first one. Because I did dark on the inside when it's supposed to be dark on the outside and light on the inside. Oh, here's the picture I found. This, you know how cute Turtwig looks? Oh, jeez. <laughs> My love for turtles, but also plants. So I think he, he draws with charcoal, it looks like. <laughs> Gonna make that black and white. Put this in. Yeah, I'm not in the biggest mood to render right now. But, we'll add a little bit of more detailing and we'll clean up a little bit. Because maybe the more I clean up, the more I'll get into coloring this or something. So also using the pencil, or like the colored pencil. Is that what it's called? The colored pencil, it does have like this texture. This little greeny texture. Because I know some people ask like, oh, did you change the texture or anything? The, like, I literally didn't change anything about the brush. I'm just using it as is. But it might be because the size of your canvas. So like I said, I'm using like an A4 size, whatever the default is that Ibis Paint has. And it should have high enough DPI that um, from far away, you shouldn't really see the texture as much. But when you zoom in, you'll see like all this little, like almost like a canvasy texture. Yeah, I think that's about it. So let's render a little bit. I might actually change the sketch car sketch color to be a little bit darker in saturation i don't know why it keeps doing that it's kind of annoying I'll bump up the saturation a little bit make it dark just keep shrinking the size of the brush so we can get smaller details into here and i have to leave the, the little quick eyedropper on because I'm going to be picking up color almost constantly. I'm gonna fix out his little chin part or his jawline so it looks a little bit more even. Also if you guys played the Archon oh not the Archon the quests the story quests and stuff with Zhongli I love his story so much. I love hearing more about Zhongli, like every time. It's just for me, it's like, I keep finding it funny. It's like, oh, I don't want to do any spoilers. Maybe I won't talk about it. <laughs> so it's just in case people haven't hit that point. So I'm using a darker color to do the outlines to make it a little bit more graphic looking. Just because I don't really want to spend too much time actually cleaning up the whole thing. So making some darker areas and making it look a little bit more... Very varied in terms of like line variation and stuff. It'll just help make things look more refined and also pops out a little bit more. Now the eyedropper is working. <laughs> there was like a kid in my neighborhood. Or a couple of kids. I guess they're like teenagers now. But these kids, there's three of them and two of them were in like a white car and then one kid was like just randomly on the street and he just like jumps in front of the car and just says like F you. 
And I guess they were friends, but they like got out of the car and started chasing him. But they were just playing. They were just playing. Because later on, like all of them were just chilling. But I'm just thinking like, why? Like, I don't care how much you trust your friends. I would not jump in front of a moving vehicle. <laughs> so usually I would try to smooth this out more, but because of the texture of the brush, and if you view it from far away, it actually just registers nicely as being the shadow color, helping the hair look just more shinier, I guess. Let's clean this up a little bit more. Maybe we'll do a little bit of touch up on the other one. I feel like an ibis paint. I don't know if it's because of how I'm working, but sometimes I always find like random dots and stuff because I'm accidentally tapping with my pen and it doesn't register and then it, sometimes it does register like immediately. Carefully color in his eyes. Because the thing is, is like, I want to return to doing more flower portraits and stuff where they're kind of like littered in flowers. And Albedo's kind of one of those characters that I think would fit a lot of these beautiful blue teal flowers just because of his eye color. I think it would fit really well and because his hair is a lot more muted and a little bit on the lighter side, really bright flowers I think would fit him so maybe we'll do that but for now I think because I don't really want to clean this up too much I keep saying that and I keep finding areas to fix if I can stop I do want to change his eye a little bit because he looks a little similar to the other one a little bug-eyed yeah he looks a little bug-eyed that's okay <laughs> Is it usually like this? Wow, it takes a while. Um, I accidentally left the iPad just on, so I'm not sure if that's going to affect the little speed paint portion that I'm showing you guys. I'm not sure how well you guys can see. That's better. be better. Hmm. Yeah, I think by the time you guys see this, it's the same day that I recorded this, so... Yeah. I do want to paint, though. I have a... sketch of Kaya in my sketchbook that I would like to attempt to paint. So I might do that later today. Um, give my hand a little bit of a break from doing digital and playing Genshin for too long. Because luckily, painting with an actual paintbrush and stuff, I have a looser grip. So it won't be as damaging to my hand, I guess. So make sure to take care of your hands, though. Because, especially if you use it a lot, it's really bad if you overwork it to the point that it causes you pain. Mine just feels a little tingly at the moment, so I know I'm going to reach that point where it's going to be super uncomfortable. So, gotta, gotta get a bit of a rest. Put the background, adding in the skin tone. Made him a little bit more peachy than the actual official artwork where he's quite pale, actually. I really do like Albedo's hair. He has really pretty hair, like flowy, kind of flower-ish like hair. Because how they kind of curl at the end I think is really cute. Yeah, but I really like his color scheme too. I think. I just love seeing orange and blues, orange and purples, or like teal and red, teal and orange. Those are like my favorite color combinations. I'm not too much of a person who likes like peach and- Oh, peach and teal looks really cute. I think that's the closest you'll get to like me using greens and reds. If it's not like a super like dark wine red and like a foresty green. I'm not too big of a fan of green, I think. Like neon green, I guess. Fixing his eyes. Yeah. That's it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching me draw Beto. And thanks for maybe drawing along with me, I guess. Um, I'll talk to you guys next time with another video. Bye!